We are going to the moon in 2024, but we're doing it in a way that's never been done before. This time when we go to the moon, we're going sustainably. In other words, we're going to stay for long periods of time. Uh, so the mobility is one of the biggest things. The fact that these bearings kind of go in gives you that great shoulder mobility that you saw. And that's very important for things uh, where we're doing geology tests. If you need to pick up a rock, if you're examining something, if you're planting a scientific instrument, you need that upper uh, torso mobility. In addition, we can walk around in it, and, and this is pretty important. When we're on ISS, the legs aren't very useful during a spacewalk. We're mostly just floating there. Uh, but obviously, in the lunar environment, we're going to need to walk around. And the more mobility you have, the more tasks you can get done, the more science you can accomplish, the further you can go. Dustin, tell us about the spacesuit you're wearing and how it's different than the spacesuit that we're going to wear on the surface of the moon. Yes, sir. Good to be here. This suit is the Orion Crew Survival Suit. And so while the, the mission of that suit is to, to what we do when we're there, this is the suit that gets us there and gets us home safely. The current EMU really has been a beautiful machine. It served us well really through the shuttle program, through the station program. It's worked really well, but it was designed to work in microgravity. Works great for supporting the space station, but when we go to other destinations, down to the surface of the moon, in orbit around the moon, on the way to Mars, the surface of Mars, we need a different suit. One of the things that's different about this suit is it's designed to be upgradable. A lot of you have looked inside of a computer. There's a, a device we call a motherboard that allows you to take components off and on as they get upgraded. This suit was designed to work exactly that way. 